Well, Trav, how have your first few sessions been back at SN? It's been exciting. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. It's uh, it was a long time coming, uh, I suppose, for me in terms of actual preseason training because I was injured uh, last year. Um, so this is my first time of actually being able to train uh, under Wusher as senior coach and with the, the new draftees from last year and and the group as a collective. So it's all been new. It's exciting. It's fresh, um, and it's just a different stimulus to what we've had this year and and, and previous years. And how have you found Wusher in these first few sessions? It's been good. He's um, he's a real driven uh, and focused guy. He, he knows what he wants to be getting out of each session, um, and I'm I'm really in, embracing and enjoying uh, his approach to training and our collective approach as a team. I think it's something that's going to hold us in good stead leading into Christmas and then, and then into games. And um, because it is new for me, I'm just sort of embracing what's going on and trying to get a feeling for for what it's like. So trying not to, I guess, make too many judgments early about how we're going and what we can do, and just and just moving forward. So that foot injury that you had back end of 2015, you're totally over that and in, in full training? Yeah, so when the decision was handed down in January, I was just about to come back into full training. I think I'd had maybe the warm-up and and, uh, and one drill. So I guess it was a little bit frustrating in terms of where my rehab was in January um, when it did happen. So I spent the first eight weeks really just focusing on getting my foot right and making sure that was no worries. Um, and it's got to a point now where it's not even a thought in my mind and I can move forward. And um, I've done a lot of strengthening work with other areas of my body throughout this year. Um, that's going to hold me in good stead because it was a pretty serious injury back uh, when I did it. Um, and you really got to get on top of it. So I feel pretty, pretty comfortable and, and confident in my body that that's not a concern anymore. So obviously you guys were training throughout the year, but now that you're back in with the full full squad, has there been things that have been hard to adjust to or easy to adjust to? Do you feel well prepared? I feel pretty confident in myself. I can't speak for the other guys, but what we were able to do this year, I think, through the help of Sean Wellman and, and David Butterfin, was put more as much football in as we could while still taking a break um, and what we've been able to do coming forward is just have more numbers and more guys around and um, get a, a lot more focus on I guess where we want to be going as a team and uh, th this is where this first two weeks has been great to get a feeling of where the young kids are consolidate everything that they've done this year us 10 guys coming back in and saying well this is sort of what we've learned out of the year in terms of watching a bit of footy or training putting that little bit of input into them and then coming as a collective. So it's exciting to to have the the rest of the group come back and then working into Christmas of really coming a line of what we want to achieve in 2017 and moving forward. Did you watch much footy throughout 2016? Initially, not really. Um, I sort of wanted to take a break and just sort of sit back and just let things go. Um, and then uh, probably as the season went on and, and as um, as, the, as the team was going through their ups and downs and uh, with the performances, uh, probably towards the back half and moving to the finals, I thought it was a really good opportunity to watch and see sort of what the top teams were doing. Um, and the realisation, I guess, for me was that Every, the competition is so even and um, for what the Bulldogs were able to do I can sort of coming back in now and the position our list is in and, and uh, with all the changes that we've had I sort of see it as an opportunity like why not us um, so I did watch a bit but um, it was also a good chance um, to sort of just take a break and, and get away from it. You mentioned the Bulldogs there and Jason Johannesson picked up the Norm Smith, a little bit similar to you in terms of he's got that line-breaking ability. Fantasia and uh, Waller picked up that uh, that area in your absence last year. Are you looking forward to working with those guys? The club seems to have picked up a bit more outside speed to support you. Yeah, it's, it was great to see Waller and, and Raz and there's a lot of other guys that developed as well. And to see their impact and as to what they can do in the team, I reckon... I was sort of almost disappointed I couldn't be there with them and help and develop and um, no doubt I'm, I want to be pushing them this pre-season but I've, I've got a lot to learn from them and the way that they went about it. They've sort of changed my perspective a little bit of what you can do and how you can um, use your strengths uh, against the opposition. So it's exciting to, to be working with those guys. You've obviously got a little bit of footy under your belt but still pretty young. Do you feel like your best football is still, still to come? Yeah, most certainly. I've, I've worked really hard through 2014 was probably where I sort of had that little light bulb moment of where I want to go and what I actually want to do with footy in my career. Um, and back half of 2014, I was able to break through the team and, and play, I think, 11 game, the last 11 games of the season, which included a final. So it gave me a little bit of a taste for where I wanted to go and then consolidated that through 2015 pre-season and was able to play the first 11 of, of that year uh, before getting injured. So. You know, I've played 58 games now. Um, I think your first 50 is your toughest. 
next 50 to 100, I hope, is where you can, you know, I've seen it with guys, you can actually develop and that's where your best footy's to come. So I have no questions on, on my own ability and where I want to get to. Um, and I think the team environment that we have is really going to embrace everyone's strength. And it's just going to bring more out of me and more out of my teammates. So I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next at least three years and fingers crossed a few more. Is there something that sticks out as the thing you're most looking forward to now that you've, you're back? <sighs> just playing again, like, and that feeling of winning. Uh, it's something that we weren't able to obviously get this year. And uh, for me, the best time is that five, ten minutes in the change rooms with the boys after a win. I'd, you know, we're privileged that we can do it and have the opportunity to, to be involved in it. And it's just everything that you've worked on has just come to fruition and it's just like, how good is this? So that's probably one thing I'm most looking forward to is, is being in that environment and that inner sanctum that, you know, we're f the fortunate ones who are able to do it. Well, we're really looking forward to watching you belt out the song a number of times. Trav, thanks a lot for your, for your time today. No worries, thank you.